today we held an event at Vista Grande High School that we call Crash the Prom. And it's a coordinated effort between the high school, uh, the student body, uh, the SAD chapter of the student body, which is Students Against Destructive Decisions, and uh, the local uh, Casa Grande Alliance, which is an alcohol and substance abuse prevention coalition, the police department, the fire department, uh, and Southwest Ambulance and uh, Air Evac to educate the student body of Vista Grande uh, in the area of the consequences of drinking and driving. So we staged a two vehicle collision uh, and then four role players out on the field, one of which was uh, stuck in one of the vehicles with a, a serious leg injury that had to be extricated by the fire department. So they literally had to cut the top of the vehicle off and the students got to watch that in, in progress just as it would be on the street in a real accident. Uh, we had a second uh, victim, a student who uh, was the one that called 911, but she ultimately uh, passed out, uh, fainted unconscious because uh, of a serious head injury. She had to be flown out by helicopter. The third uh, victim was a, a young lady who sustained major internal injuries and uh, ended up dying on the field. We conducted CPR for a little while and covered her with a sheet. And the fourth was the intoxicated uh, driver of the second vehicle, the boyfriend of the girl who died. Overall, uh, a visual, a strong, stunning visual impact of the consequences of a, of a major traffic collision due to an intoxicated driver. Someone that's under the age of 20, 21, 22 years old, their brain hasn't even fully grown to its potential. And for them to you know, put, introduce alcohol and drugs to that system is dangerous in the first place. Then you add a 2,000 pound vehicle going anywhere from 30 to 60, 70, 80 miles an hour, it results in a collision much like the one that we demonstrated today. Approximately one-third of the students in Casa Grande have admitted to drinking in the last 30 days. That means one out of three of our kids is drinking. And I don't mean just to sip a mom's beer, I mean drinking intentionally. My greatest concern with underage drinking is that parents are too casual about it. They figure, oh, it's okay, all kids drink a little, they all experiment with alcohol, it's no big deal. But when we look at child uh, deaths, when we look at underage uh, injuries, when we look at um, even disease that kids have, we can link almost all of it back to alcohol consumption. We're just too casual about it. The consequences of drinking and driving are severe. It's not the legal consequences I'm talking about. I mean crashes, I mean people dying, people getting hurt. And because we don't see it every day, we don't realize how very real it is. Alcohol use is a cultural standard. Alcohol abuse destroys bodies, individuals, and families. The police department's stance on drinking and driving is zero tolerance. We will not tolerate anyone drinking and driving especially a juvenile. One ounce of alcohol in you is too much. We will catch you, we will arrest you, we will put you in jail. <laughs>